back sa ating discussion. Our new topic for today is superposition method of analysis. But before we proceed on the discussion of superposition, uh, define muna natin what is a linearity property since the idea of superposition rests on the linearity property. Linearity property describes a linear relationship between cost and effect. Cost and effect. Although the property applies to many circuit elements, we shall limit its applicability to resistors. So the property is actually a combination of homogeneity property and additivity property. So, pisahan muna natin kung ano ibig sabihin ng homogeneity property. Homogeneity property requires that if the input or the excitation is multiplied by a constant, then the output is multiplied also by the same constant. For example, sa mga resistors. So, we can uh, use Ohm's law to relate the input and the output. Iba alam natin that V is equal to I times R. Okay, yung R natin, bali dyan yung, yung constant. Our input, for example, if we increase I by a constant of K, then uh, definitely the voltage will increase by the same constant K. So, ang magiging formula natin, I, if we increase the input by K, so I R, okay, I make now, So, I times R. So, if increasing the input or the current by I will definitely increase the voltage or the output by the same constant, Kv. So, ayan siya. So, this is homogeneity property. Okay. How about additivity, additivity property? So, it requires that the response to a sum of inputs is the sum of responses to each input applied separately. Again, using the current voltage relationship of a, in a resistor. So, if V sub 1 is equal to I sub 1, R. And then, we have V sub 2 is equal to I sub 2, R. If we apply, okay, I sub 1 plus I sub 2, it will give us V is equal to I sub 1 plus I sub 2 times R, or that is V is equal to I1 R plus I sub 2 R, or that is equivalent to V sub 1 plus V sub 2, as what is defined by additivity property. And so in general, a circuit is linear element, because the voltage-current relationship satisfies both homogeneity and additivity property. So, a linear circuit is one whose output is linearly related or directly proportional to its input. So, let's have an example para ma-discuss na mabuti. What is linearity property? Example tayo dito. Okay. Ayan. So, we have to find I sub O. Okay. Ito ko lang kulay. Yes. Time po te. Okay. We have to find I sub O when V sub S is 12 and when V sub S is 24 volts. So, ang V sub S natin, ito. So, what is I sub O if we um, have V sub S as 12 volts and then increase it to 24 volts? So, kailangan natin makuha yung I sub O. And as we can see, yung I sub O is equivalent to, lagay na natin dito. I sub O is equal to I sub 2. Ayun know. Sunusundan niya yung direction ng current ng I sub 2 and then para silang mag-flow sa ating second mesh. So, yun. Kuha muna ako mas puti. Ayan. So, ito yung load natin. 
So, itong problem natin, meron na siyang given na mesh, lahat nakalagay na. So, all we have to do is to proceed in solving the problem. So, mag-KVL muna tayo at loop 1. KVL at loop 1. Ayan, ito yung loop 1 natin. So, pwede natin pagsamasamahin na agad lahat ng nandito sa isa buwan. 6 plus 2 plus 4. Or, V sub X pala ito, no? Hmm, pwede rin. So, 6 plus 2 plus 4. So, 6, 10, 12. So, positive 12. 12 I sub 1. Okay? And then, minus natin yung uh, 4 times I sub 2. Uh, Mininsana na natin. Kesa yung 6 I sub 1, plus 2 I sub 1, plus 4 I sub 1. So, minsana na sa buong mesh na yan. So, 4 I sub 2. Okay? Kasi dati yung ginagawa natin. 6 I sub 1, plus 2 I sub 1. Tapos, sa 4, plus 4 I sub 1. Tapos, minus mo ng 4 I sub 2. Okay? So, ito, minsana na natin. Add na natin lahat para mas simple. Okay, and then, plus, ito kasi, ang entering terminal is positive, so plus V sub S equals 0. So, this is our equation 1. As then, So, equation 1. And then, KVL tayo at loop 2. Okay, we have look to. So, 4 plus 8 plus 4, that is 16. I sub 2. And then, minus tayo. Ito, sa kabila. 4, I sub 1. Okay, ano pa? So, nakuha ko na lahat na resistors. Tapos, pati itong sa kabila. Itong uh, 4 times I sub 1. And then, dito tayo. Minus 3, minus 3, V sub X. Tapos, meron pang isang source. Minus V sub S equals 0. So, that is our equation 2. Ayan. And then, ano pang makukuha natin? Ito. Kunin natin yan. This one. Okay. But V sub X. Okay. Ano ba yung V sub X? Ayan. Trend. V sub X. But V sub X is actually 2 times I sub 1. So, we can substitute this. Substitute 2 uh, hmm, to 2. Okay, substitute natin siya dito. So, 16 I sub 2 minus 4 I sub 1. Minus, okay. Sige, sulat muna natin. Minus V sub S is equal to 0. So, 16 I sub 2. Minus 4 I sub 1. Minus 3, what is V sub X? 2 I sub 1. Minus V sub S is equal to 0. And then, unahin natin nilagay na yung I sub 1 para naka-arrange. Plus 16 I sub 2. Ito naman, minus 6, I sub 1, minus B, S is equal to 0. Simplify further. So, that is negative 6, negative 10, 10, I sub 1. Plus 16, I sub 2, minus B sub S is equal to 0. So, this is our equation 2.2. .2. Okay. 2 point, dahil kasi siya sa 2, so 2.1 na lang. Ayan. Tapos, yung isang equation natin, 12i1 minus 4i2 plus v, so pwede na natin i-equate, no? So, equate um, 1 and 2.1. Okay, pwede na natin ang subtraction na lang to or addition. 12i sub 1 minus 4i sub 2 plus V sub S is equal to 0. This is equation 1. Ito, toto. This is equation 1. Ayan. So, yung equation 2.1 natin, 1, 
2.1. Equation 2.1 natin is 10i sub 1 plus 16i sub 2 minus p sub s is equal to 0. So, pwedeng subtraction na lang. Maka-cancel ito. Ayan. Cancel siya. So, this is 12 minus 10. 2i sub 1. Negative 4 minus 16. Negative, negative. So, negative 4. Ay, wait. Plus pala to. So, so, so ipa-plus natin siya. So, Vs plus negative Vs. So, cancel out. So, 12. Yung 10 na 10. Wait lang, kamali pa yata. Okay, this is negative 10i. So, negative 10i to. Okay. Tapos, add natin siya. Ayan. So, V sub S minus V sub S. So, 0 na yan. 12 minus 10. Ah... Uh, I sub 1, I sub 1, so that is 2, I sub 1. This is a negative 4 plus 16, so that is 12, I sub 2, plus 12, I sub 2, so this is 0, so equals 0. And then, 2, I sub 1 is equal to negative 12, I sub 2, divide both sides by, I know, 2. So, I sub 1 is equal to negative 6, I sub 2. So, let's say this is our equation 3. Ayan. So, anong gagawin natin? We can substitute this to equation 1 para makuha natin what is I sub 2. Yun ba yung tinatanong? Actually, yung tinatanong is I sub O. But we have this relationship that I sub 2 is equal to I sub O. Ayan. So, kailangan natin makuha na yung I sub 2. If we get the equation of I sub 2, makukuha natin ano yung changes if um, yung ating V sub S dito ay 12, tapos nag-increase siya ng 24. Kung ano yung uh, makikita natin doon. Kung mabaverify natin that if this circuit is linear or uh, uh, shows linearity property. Okay? So, substitute to 1. So, dito na lang natin lalagay. 1 equation 12, I sub 1 minus 4, I sub 2 plus V sub S is equal to 0. Take note, we will have an equation in terms of V sub S. So, makukuha natin ito, kung ano relationship niya. So, 12 times, what is I sub 1? Negative 6, I sub 2 minus 4, I sub 2 plus V sub S is equal to 0. 12 times negative uh, 6, that is negative 72, I sub 2 minus 4, I sub 2 plus V sub S is equal to 0. Negative 72 minus 4, negative 76, I sub 2 is equal to negative V sub S, transpose to negative. So, negative, negative, positive. So, divide both sides by negative 76, negative 76, I sub 2 is V sub S over 76. So, this is our equation. This is our working equation. Ayan. So, if, ayan na, puna natin. Since I sub O is equal to I sub 2, therefore, ito na. I sub O, I sub O is equal to Vs over 76 also. So, so, if Vs is equal to 12 volts, so I sub O is equal to, okay, V sub S kasi yan, 12 over 76. So, that is I sub O equals 12 over 76 ampere. Um, ampere. And then, if V sub S is equal to 24 volts, I sub O is equal to, um, 24 over 76 ampere. So, the same. So, kapag nag-increase yung ating V sub S, mag-increase din yung current. As well as kapag naging 24 siya, mag-increase din with 24 constant yung ating current. 